Hi guys, thanks for tuning in. My name is Alicia. I wanted to do a quick video and share a few products that I use in the morning when I'm getting ready to do a quick five minute makeup look. I start with Truth Juice Daily Cleanser. I use this when I'm in the shower. It's by Ule Herkins. I love this whole product line. It smells really good. After that, I put on Banana Bright Vitamin C Serum. I've already applied this to my skin, so I'm not gonna re apply it. I just put a dab into my palm, dab it around and rub it in. It gives me this really silky, um, glossy look, which I absolutely love. After that, I use C Rush Brightening Gel Cream. This is very moisturizing and hydrating. I've already put some on, so I'm not going to put it on again, but this whole product line smells like oranges. I love it. After that, I use the Banana Bright Eye Cream. Even though this is a little jar, it will last forever just because a little goes a long way. So I just get a little on my finger, dab it underneath my eyes, rub it into my eyes really well and gently, um, and also go over the top of my lids as well and kind of onto my temples and right above my cheekbones. If you have dark circles under your eyes, or maybe you didn't get enough rest the night before, this stuff really does wonders. It works so well. Again, this is the Banana Bright Eye Cream. After that, I apply um, the Naked Skin Urban Decay One and Done. This is in medium light. I love this um, this one and done. It's not too heavy like foundation. It's more light like BB cream or CC cream. Um, and it rubs in and blends really well. I use my fingers to blend all of my products. Um, well, except for my like blush and bronzer, but for everything that I rub into my face, I use my fingers. Um, I know a lot of people like to use a sponge, which works very well too. It's just I'm old school and I've always used my fingers to blend everything. So when I try to use a tool, it just like throws me off and my makeup doesn't come out the way I like it to. So after I apply the one and done, then I apply some bronzer and blush. So right now I'm using the nesting uh, bitch face palette here. I did receive this in my boxy charm a few months ago and I absolutely love it. It matches my skin tone very well. Um, I use Son of a B here. I just get a little on my brush and then apply it underneath my cheekbones and around my face making faces to get it in the right spots underneath my cheekbones and I even blend it kind of out and onto my ear a little bit there. I mean, not in your ear, but kind of up by your ear so it looks blended. And then along my jawline, just gives you a nice little sun kissed glow like that. Okay, and then I am ready for blush. I use the Mirror Mirror on here and just a little dab there onto my brush and then Throw on a big smile to get those cheekbones really good. And then blend up a little towards my temple. So there's that. It's blended really nicely into my skin. After that, I apply a little bit of um, illuminating power, powder. <laughs> Illuminating power. Yes, power to the people. Um, so actually a little bit of um, illuminating powder here. This is Hourglass. Um, and it's very uh, sparkly and pretty. I put this along my forehead, down my nose, over my eyes, onto my cheekbones to give it that shimmer and that glow right where the light hits. So after I do that, then I'm ready for mascara. So I like to use a mirror and I put it in between my legs and look down into the mirror to really lengthen my lashes. I'm using telescopic um, mascara by L'Oreal. You can find this at any drugstore. I will be linking everything that I'm using down in the description below. 
so I look down into the mirror and pull my lashes, it really creates some amazing length by doing this trick. I learned it in eighth grade and I've been using it ever since. Um, I also like that it creates some distance in between your lashes and your lid. So you're not like constantly getting mascara on your eyelid and having to use a Q-tip or something to remove that. This kind of um, foolproofs that so it doesn't happen. Um, so then I do my other eye like such. And like I said, I really look down and really pull them lashes to give it length there. And of course I said that I never get it on my lid and I may have gotten just a tiny bit on my lid. Actually I didn't, but there we go. Um, a few other mascaras that I like to use if I'm not using the telescopic. I love using this Maybelline Great Lash. Can't go wrong with this stuff. It's been around forever, although they did um, add do a new brush on here, which I like because it does give you those spidery long lashes. I just received this one in my BoxyCharm. This is Man Eater by Tarte. I love this brush as well. Gives you thickening um, or thick lengthened eyelashes. Um, two other ones that I like using are Voluminous Lash Paradise. Another nice brush here. Creates a lot of um, body in your lashes. And then Lash Topia by Bare Minerals. So. Um, I know the Lash Paradise and the Great Lashes, you could find those at, at Walgreens or any place like that. The other, these other two, I think you have to go to like Ulta or Sephora, but here's that Lash Topia brush. I like to finish with a little, um, CNC brightening mist. This is by Pacifica. This gives a nice little dewy finish glow to my face. Just give that a little spray. It smells really nice. Let me throw on a little lipstick to finish the look. This is Mellow. I also received this in my BoxyCharm. Before receiving this, I'd never heard of this brand, so I'm not even sure where to get it. This color is nude and it is gorgeous. I usually don't wear lipstick, but since I found this color, I have been using it. So those are the products that I use when I'm getting ready for a quick five minute look. As you could tell, um, my skin looks a little dewy and glowy. Um, my cheekbones look really defined um, with that bronzing powder that I used. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and tune in for more. Thanks.